What's going on? It's Zach here from CodyMadeSimple.com and today what I'm going to show you guys how to do is a cool screen shake effect in GameMaker Studio 2. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our room. In this case, it's going to be RMA and I put a cool little background down for it. And we're going to have to go into the viewports and cameras options. Okay, so we're going to enable viewports. Under viewport 0, we're going to uh, select visible. So now the width of our room is 600, the height is 416. So that's what I'm gonna put in these width and height parameters down here. So 600, 416. 600 and 416. Okay, and that's all we need in the room. So basically what we've done is we've just created a viewport. So you could do a bunch of different things with viewports, uh, create camera systems, create large rooms. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using a screen shake effect. So in order to make this happen, every time I hit the space key, I want, I want the uh, screen to shake. So I'm going to go into our objects here and create a new object. I'm going to call it O controller. And we're going to set up a uh, create event. And in here, I'm going to create three new variables. I'm going to create shake to equal false. So basically, whenever shake equals true, then we want the room to shake. And then I'm going to set up our view underscore X, and this is going to equal camera get view X, and this then it needs our camera target, which is going to be our view underscore camera zero, which means that we're going to be using uh, the viewport zero that we set up. So I'm going to copy that and change it to Y, put this to Y here, and there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to add a new event. And this is going to be key down, I'm sorry, key pressed, and we'll do space. And here I just want to set shake to equal true. Shake to equal true, and let's set alarm zero to equal um, 30. Or let's make it equal 120. So this, this alarm zero here is how long the room is going to shake for. So in alarm zero, I could just simply set shake to equal false again. Okay, so now that all of that works, we need to set up the actual shaking code for it. So I'm gonna go into the step event. And in here, we're just gonna simply say if shake, which means if shake equals true, then we wanna do this. So in here, GameMaker Studio 2 has a really great function that they added from its GameMaker Studio 1, and that is camera set view pos, so position. And it takes three parameters, and this is going to be our view camera zero. And then it wants our X and Y position. So this function right here just basically changes our X and Y position of our viewport. So in here, I want to say view underscore X plus, and we're going to say random range. And this is going to be uh, negative range and then range. And up top here, I don't know, I could just make it right here. You could make it in the create event, doesn't really matter. We'll set it to three. So we do the same thing, so view underscore y plus random range, uh, negative range, and range. Okay. So after that, we want to set it back to the original coordinates of the room after it's done shaking. So we'll say else, and we'll say camera set view pos, view camera zero. And we'll just do view X and view Y. Okay, so let's run the game. And let's make sure we put the object in the game. Go to instances layer, and there we go. Let's now hit the space key. And as you can see, we have a very basic uh, screen shake effect. So we could play around with this a little bit more. Let's say, let's put our range to say 30. And now we get more of a screen shake effect. Okay, so very simple. Game Maker Studio 2 makes it really easy to do this. So if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.